What's up guys, this is Miles Hisher from HiView, Google Cloud Partner, here with some information about Google Drive for Work. So we'll start with why you should consider Google Drive for your organization. We'll take a quick look at the Google Drive interface from the web. We'll also take a look at Google Drive on a mobile device. And then we will conclude by a quick look at the Google G Suite admin panel, specifically the controls um, you have available to you for oversight of the Google Drive service. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So for this first look, we are taking a deep dive into Google Drive. So we'll start out why your organization should consider Google Drive as a workplace productivity tool. Then we'll jump into a product demonstration. We'll talk about using Google Drive as a place to store and share files, work with Microsoft Office files, as well as the collaboration tool set with Docs, Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. And then we'll conclude with an overview of the administrative controls that you have available to you as a systems admin. Let's get into it. All right, so from our service here, let's go ahead and open up the drive interface. And let's just get started with a, a quick overview of, of the interface. So just to start in the top left-hand corner, under new, you have the option to create folders to organize your files or upload files and folders from your desktop to your Google Drive service. You also have the option to create your Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Under more, you'll see some additional option for forms, etc. Below My Drive, below, below new, you have My Drive and Team Drives. So you're probably familiar with My Drive from your personal Google Drive account if you have one. But My Drive is basically a place for storing personal files is your personal My Documents folder, if you will, as well as files that you want to share on a one-off basis or one-time basis. Think of Team Drives as more collaborative group workspaces that are owned by the organization where you're collaborating and sharing all files and folders in those drives with, with the team. Below Team Drives, you have Shared With Me. This gives you a view of files and folders that other people have shared with you, either internally or externally. Keep in mind that items that are shared with you are not by default added to My Drive. You do have to select an item, right click, and add it to My Drive. Hello, shared with me, you have recent start and trash. Up in the top right hand corner, you have different grid versus list views of your Google Drive service. This eye here just gives you additional details. Below that, you can see the account that you are logged into at the moment. You can see and easily access other Google applications from the apps icon. The settings gear allows you to adjust the settings for your Google Drive service as well as download file stream. And then you have the search bar, which is a very integral part of working effectively in Google Drive. Similar to Gmail, Google Drive as a solution relies more heavily on search and less on a complex folder or, or labeling structure. So make sure you get skilled at using the search operators, which you can find by clicking in the top right hand corner of the search bar. So that's Google Drive in a nutshell. Um, I want to quickly create some Google Docs sheets and slides, show you how to collaborate in a doc, and then we'll talk about working with MS Office files. So under new, I'm selecting Google Doc, and from Google Doc, we'll create a file with a title called operations. And under this, we'll have a couple different sections We'll have marketing, sales, support, public relations, for example. So once you have your titles, you can then click in the top right hand corner and share out with your colleague. In this case, I'm adding my colleague Mary. I can add a note. And then click send. Great. So um, I've simply shared out that doc. I can now go and add a comment, and I could leave generic comments in a doc such as needs to be updated, and everyone who has access to that doc will be able to see that comment. Alternatively, I could use comments and direct them to a particular individual, in this case using the at symbol or the plus sign, and directing a comment to Mary, and I could say, please update this section, just like that. In this case, I'm going to assign that to Mary. 
Mary will receive an email notification indicating that I've left a comment for her within this Google Doc. She could then open that email, open up this Google Doc, and address and, and engage with my comment accordingly. So I'm not going to go through many more features within Docs, but that is one of the core ways of collaborating. Under File, you also have version history, which allows you to roll back to earlier versions in time. There's this really great suggesting mode where you turn your edits into suggested edits, um, et cetera. But Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides, plus Forms, are well known for um, their cloud-based nature, where you, A, never have to worry about um, saving a file because everything's saved automatically. B, you never need to send another attachment over email since you can now just share links to files or comment people in. Um, and, uh, and, and C, bringing projects to market is, is much easier. Instead of um, not knowing where information is stored, being split over email and project management tools, you can just share out doc sheets and slides and steer everyone to single sources of truth. Great. So that is a quick overview of Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Going back to Google Drive, let's talk about working with Microsoft Office files. So if you are a heavy Excel user, your employees are a heavy Excel users, they can use Google Drive to store those files, of course, but it's ideal to not work from the user web interface. It's actually better to use a sync client that Google publishes called Google Drive FileStream. So file stream allows you to mirror the image, uh, the, the files and folders from your Google Drive service to your local computer. So you'll see here on my Mac, I've pulled up my drive files as well as my team drives. Now by default, only the file and folder names will be available on your computer, in this case under operations. The files and folders themselves will not be downloaded. You do need to right click and intentionally select available offline if you would like data to be downloaded to your local machine for, for use without a internet connection. Going back to what I was talking about with MS Office files, let's say we have a particular file um, such as a Excel drive demo. Here we go. And I could go ahead and make some changes to certain cells of data. And within Excel, I could simply click the Save button and you'll see that that's activated my Google Drive file stream and is actively syncing the updated version of this file with those edits I just made to my Google Drive service. And in a second, this will complete, and it says everything is up to date. So now I could go back to my web interface, go to that same file now from the web interface, and you'll see this file here, Excel Drive Demo, has been updated with that timestamp of 428 just now. Great. So that is the best way to work with your Microsoft Office files. Once again, it's called Google Drive File Stream. Allows you to easily save to Drive. If you are working with the web interface, it's multiple steps, which is not that convenient. You have to actually right click, download, open in Excel, save, re-upload. Far from ideal. So that's all the end user features. Let's segue and take a look at some of the admin controls you have available to you. So from the apps icon, I've selected the admin console. From the admin console here, I'll select apps. And from apps, I'm clicking in the 14 core G Suite app section and drive and docs. So from an administration standpoint, and this is why we cover both Google Drive and Docs in this video, um, Google Drive is the overarching service which includes Sheets, Slides, and Docs. So it's all managed from the administration side through one, one section of your admin console. So just a quick overview of share settings. Um, you have a variety of options available to you. The account that we're demonstrating in is uh, G Suite Enterprise, which has a lot of um, features of business as well. Um, but you might not see all these features available if you're on G Suite Basic. If you are, highly encourage you to check out our video comparing Enterprise, Basic, and Business. So you have restrictions that you can set for how files are shared within your organization. Default behavior, you can configure whitelisted domains, 
So if you want to disable external shared links but keep those enabled for whitelisted domains, that's something you can do. Um, you could decide if you share a file externally, if you want to require people have some sort of Google account to authenticate. Um, you have a whole range of options around team drives, preventing users from creating team drives, or some other settings um, such as copying, downloading from a team drive. Um, link sharing defaults um, under migration settings. You can control who's allowed to transfer ownership from um, their individual my drive over to a team drive. Admins actually can use um, uh, and move folders from my drive to team drives, but that is an admin setting that has to be enabled uh, as of July 2018. Uh, transferring ownership, so this would be in the case of an employee departing or someone's transitioning roles, and you can tr transition um, all files owned by a certain individual from one to another, um, as well as some additional features, such as uh, controlling offline use, um, allowing people or disallowing people to use Google Drive file stream, um, disabling backup and sync, which is a consumer um, product that can actually sometimes be used with Google G Suite. Um, sometimes it's helpful to uh, disable that option. Um, moving on to templates, you can set up templates of doc sheets and slides with your company letterhead, highly recommended, as well as some activity dashboards uh, within your account as well. And I just got kicked out, I'll lump back in here. So that's a quick overview of the share settings um, within the Google G Suite admin panel specific to Google Drive. Let's see if there's anything else here I want to conclude with. Um, I actually would like to highlight under reporting that there is a very, very helpful tool that's used quite frequently under reports. So this is from the home screen. You'll just click on the tile titled reports and under reports, there's a section called audit. So under audit, there's a section called drive. And this provides an incredibly granular detail of how files and folders are being engaged with across your organization. And this actually logs every event from downloads to views, um, permissions changing on files, etc. I do want to highlight that you can set up certain custom queries. And then you can actually set alerts for when that parameter is met. So that's one way you can use the audit log to create more robust uh, reporting if you have sensitive files and you're concerned or want to monitor how those files are viewed or shared, for instance. So just a heads up there. Okay, um, that is a first look at Google Drive for work. Please contact us or check out our other videos if you have additional questions. Thank you.